This is an octopus, and you're watching episode 26. What is that? You can't even see what it is. Oh, shit. episode 26. What do you mean welcome back? Welcome back. Oh. Welcome back. Alright, today, on today's episode, we're going to be building a uh, computer, actually. We're going to show you how to build a computer from scratch with brand new state-of-the-art parts. So in case you've never built a computer before, you don't know how to build one, or you want to save money on a computer, I'll show you how to do that. Um, Harrison's also, a, we, we both work in the IT field. Harrison supports software and I support software. So, so, so uh, you ready? Uh, yeah. Let's start with our first clip before we get started. Go get him a treat, please. What would you like me to do? Get him a treat. A what? A treat. A what? Chicken and cheese? No. No, I gotta get him chicken and cheese. We have that. Yeah, but... Chicken? chicken? Put it on a, pa on a paper chicken? plate. Chicken? Put it on a paper plate. Chicken? Look at this. How could you torture Bussy, you want like chicken? This? You want chicken? Go get it from, damn it. He wants to be hot. Mm -hmm. Good point. Bust, you want some chicken? You want some chicken? Welcome back. Welcome back. So, uh, what is the first thing that you need to build a computer? Well, the first thing we need is a motherboard. Okay. So known as main board. A motherboard is the, the main part of a computer. You can think of it as the legs of the computer, because without the motherboard, it's not going to walk. So when you open these up, you're going to get a few things. You're going to get an instruction manual, which you don't need. You're going to get a CD of drivers that you don't need. And you're going to get the actual motherboard. And it's going to come in this um, anti-rostatic -rest flexible plastic backing. And this keeps all the x-rays in, because motherboard works by using x-rays. And if you didn't have this in the bag, they would all dissipate while it was on the shelf, and you wouldn't be able to use the computer anymore. It's a filter for a window air conditioner. Oh, look at that. The first thing that you're going to need to do with the motherboard is you're going to need to wash it. Scrub the bottom portion of the motherboard with the paper towel. Like grating cheese. Yes. The next thing that you need in order to make a computer work is a processorizer. A processorizer goes in this little slot over here and it makes the computer work. You can think of this as the mouth of the computer. They come in these boxes, such as this one. Um, they're very lightweight. You can buy these at your computer store or plumbing. You gotta be careful, these are very fragile, so they're very hard to get open. So this one here is an AMD K6, which is a brand new processor from AMD. So this actually goes in here. If you'll notice, one of these corners is slightly off, and one of the corners here is slightly off. So what you want to do is you want to line them up. This socket has two corners that are not all the way there, but this processorizer only has one. So this, this may happen to you. So you're going to grab this tool, and you're going to get this last pin, which is right here, and you're just going to do that. And we go ahead and clo whoa, close the, uh, the door. All right, so we got our processor in there now. The next thing we're going to need is some memory. Memory is like the computer's breath. And it can only go in one way. All right, here we go. All right, we got some new memory, because this old stuff wasn't working. All right, let's see if this fits. None of this shit works. None of this RAM works. So you're going to have to use the Goldman technique. We're going to do the same thing that we did with the processor. We're going to mark where the hole should be. And we're just going to make a little chunk. Push it in. As you can see here, we've created notches in the RAM 
with our crimper tool so that we can get it in the actual memory slot here. And one side goes in and the other side goes in. And when it's in, these little clips will bounce in and hold it there. All right. So this is pretty easy. The video card is looks like this. It has a little fan and it has some video outs and it just goes right in one of these slots. Like that. But here's a hard drive. We need a uh, monster cable to connect it to the computer. The hard drive connects here. And it connects to here. What is this? This is the SCSI. You need the SCSI or else the computer won't operate. Many people think they can get by without putting the SCSI in the computer. But I'll tell you something right now. If this is over here or over here or anywhere but in here, it's not going to work. It don't work without the SCSI. So you put the SCSI in here and you push down firmly. This is a sound card. This is you know, your standard uh, ADB mouse. Uh, manufactured by the fruit company. If you look over here, there's a purple and there's a green. The mouse goes in the purple and uh, you usually have to twist it in like this. Now that we got everything else running, the only other thing we need to connect is the power. I recommend using the smallest, cheapest power supply you can use because you don't want to overload your board. This is, this is your standard uh, cheap power supply. As you'll notice, it only has a few connectors. It only has like 17 of them. There's, there's this kind and there's this kind. This kind is old. Don't use this. Never use this. Always use the new ones. Where does this go? Nowhere. Because you don't connect that. You connect this. Like that. All right, so we're gonna power this on now. All right, now to power it on, you touch these two wires together, like that. So now it's running. So now we need to connect a TV screen to it. Let's connect this motherfucker. What does that say? There we go. E-machines! <laughs> uh oh. Operating system not found. Alright, that's because we need a- uh, that's because our hard drive's not plugged in to anything. <laughs> F1. And... Oh! Oh! Whoa! Right the server, look at that! Oh shit! Oh shit! We paid for this? Whoa, where did this hard drive go? <laughs> also, you should be buying the new 4211 <laughs> album called Partial Ownership of Fidelity, available on Amazon. Uh, coming soon to iTunes, Napster, uh, some other places that you've never heard of or whatever it is. Buy that 14.9, MP3 versions 9, and something 89. Administrator. That work? He wants you to shut down now because he has too many buttons. Hold on. <laughs> the password is nothing. Alright, it, it wants to know why the computer shut down unexpectedly, so we're gonna put in here. Fuck you. Cruise ice. Violator slash x7 sd hexadecimal and we got this all right and here we go <laughs> now that as you can see we have a fully functioning computer we can go ahead and start to remove the pieces that we no longer need for example, the sound card is no longer necessary. Uh, we also no longer need... Ooh. Oh! You put the tape in wrong. I just yank it out, whatever. How, how many start menus do we have here? Hmm. I don't know. 
Looks more like a Macintosh now. Oh. oh there you go. All right. Is this Linux? Yeah, apparently. Oh, look at this. Look at what we got going on here. So we're still running with no memory. Almost. Let's, let's put the memory in the other slot now. So we can go ahead and pull this off. And you'll notice that it significantly quiets down the PC. As you can see, the computer is still running and will continue to run long after I remove these pieces. All right. Oh, that's why it, it, it didn't uh, put that on. Oh. <laughs> We're going to put this on upside down. All right. So what this is going to do is it's going to pull in hot air and push it back down towards the processor. And yes, we know we have no disk drive. This is pretty sturdy, not even crashing when you're blowing all that hot air into the processor. <laughs> I don't think we need this parallel port either. Welcome back to episode 26. We're going to play a game now. And it's going to be a very fun game. So, as you can see, we have a fully functioning computer that's playing uh, the episode from last month. So today we're going to play, we're going to play a game of uh, Motherboard Plinko. So we have our Plinko board here. Now Harrison, which Plinko chip would you like to use? Mm, well, I like big and long, so I guess I'll choose that one. Alright, where do you want to start? Do you want to start up here? Or do you want to start over here? Um... Uh, this is my favorite part right there. Oh, you missed it. Alright. Let's go right down the middle. Alright. Oh, it looks like you won. It's still going. Okay. Alright, my turn. Alright. Oh. Uh, one of the... <laughs> one of the proper... One of the proper, uh... Things that you need to do is you need to make sure that you have thermal compound in your uh, processor core here. And, uh... The best thermal compound that I recommend is this do-it-yourself icing. <laughs> this this do-it-yourself icing that comes with toaster strudel. You mean chocolate? Yes. Okay, let's put some on there. All right. There we go. Look at that. It's, oh, oh, look at this. Yeah, let's get that in there. Just fucking yeah, spread the get that off of there. All right. Yeah. yeah. You don't want you don't want the processor to overheat. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, you dark. smell that? that? You smell that? Mmm, that was dark chocolate. All right. It smells good. All right, leave that on there for a second. <laughs> oh. Is this free BSD? <laughs> this is this is Linux. <laughs> As I explained in our last episode, Linux could cause these types of issues. Let's reboot it again. Uh oh. Oh, when the saints go marching. <laughs> No, 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 put this back, put this in the sink, put it in the, ew, aw, oh, look, you got, how do you get a colada juice in the fucking socket, alright, you gotta match up the, uh, alright. All right, congratulations. We've recovered, we've recovered from the melted chocolate. Got some fruit on the bottom. Uh, our CPU fan, as you can see, is winding up. And we're gonna go ahead and, uh, where should we put this one? Uh, let's cover the RAM with I'm, it. The RAM looks a little hot. I'm thinking the PCI. Oh, okay. <laughs> and the, the, the south bridge here needs some extra. Yeah. Yeah, just slather it on there. Right in the slot there. You got a good close-up of this camera guy? Whoa. <laughs> oh. Shit, the CPU fan seized. <laughs> Don't let that happen. Get it going again. No disassemble Johnny 5. No function. 
No fuck shit, no. Get it going. Shit, we gotta, Turn it over, shake we it. We gotta cool the system down. We gotta cool the system down. We gotta cool it down. It's gonna overheat without the fan. It's gonna overheat. No function. Do you see what's going on here? Get it in all the holes. Get this out of here. Get it on top. Uh-oh, I think yeah, we're, we're losing some video there. It looks a little distorted. Where is the GPU? Right there. We gotta cool it off. Yeah. We need more. All right, hold on. What else do we have? Hurry up. I'm gonna add some more chocolate. We can save it. Hurry up. We... <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, the monitor's bleeding. Oh, shit. It's the More cascade. Alright. Wipe it down. Wipe it down. There we go. Oh. Yep. Can we reboot it? You know what it just needs? It needs some tender loving care. Oh. <laughs> I pronounce this computer dead at 10.07 p.m. Coroner's report. No! <laughs> Idiot. Okay, get me cleaning up here. There it is.